My garbage person is the people who put together a fundraiser for the U.S. Navy SEALs at a uh, Navy museum. They uh, wanted to demonstrate the effectiveness of their attack dogs. And to do so, they decided they would put a Colin Kaepernick jersey on one of the demonstrators. Under that, he had some protective gear and he just decided they just decided to sick the dogs on him. Here is the image they decided to put forth at this fundraiser. Take a look. Here comes Raven. Raven is the museum mascot. All right, Josh, he's going to probably get another dog. Here we go. Here comes Callie. Callie's the oldest dog in the field, nine years old. Josh is going to pick another one. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go. Here comes Storm, young buck on the field. All right. Here we go. Can Josh take more? Here comes Oplon. Smash them. I've seen Josh with 12 dogs at one time. Good job, guys. I, I mean, who, who I can't. Who is the group again? It is a Navy SEAL museum event uh, where they had essentially this group come to do a demonstration. Yeah. Um, I, and it seems like their Navy SEALs involved, their Navy SEALs there. Um, this is in a demonstration, a target is seen wearing a con This is their statement from the Navy SEALs. We became aware today of this whole thing um, posted uh, from a Navy SEAL museum event posted last year with a military working dog demonstration. The target's wearing a Colin Kaepernick jersey. The inherent message of this video is completely inconsistent. We're investigating the matter fully uh, in initial investigations or that there were no active duty Navy personnel or equipment involved in this independent organization's event. But, and then we have another video I want to show just okay. to show you the crowd's reaction. Get him, get him, get him! Woo! Ah! Get him! Foose up, foose, foose! Come here, Stone, foose, Storm, foose, foose, foose! Come here, girl, Stone, foose! Stone, girl, foose! Whoa! Foose, come on and take it. On your belly. Turn over. On your belly. Oh, man, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> And so there's that. I, the, in that category, which we need a term for of things I can't believe I have to say, Colin Kaepernick is not protesting the troops. In fact, the idea to kneel was given to him by a Navy SEAL after a, by not by a, a Army Green Beret after a conversation about how not to be disrespectful of the troops and the banner. That was the compromise that they came to after a dialogue. But a dialogue is not something anyone at this event is interested in. They're laughing. They decide, I mean, it's weird enough to show these dogs at work. Um, and I've been, I've, I have been in close contact with a, uh, with a, an attack dog used by the military and it is horrifying. Yeah. Like this, I, they, the guy said to me, the guy that handled the dog said, we need to end this demonstration now because he hasn't killed anything yet. And it's been a while. Like, oh, I remember is, that. Yeah, it is a very intense thing to see. And they're just they they are having. Very explicitly, this dog attack, uh, essentially Colin Kaepernick, someone who is trying to be patriotic and hold America to the promises it itself has made. Yeah. And the way they respond to that is. Let's attack him with many dogs, and and uh, and that's just not okay. So they are total garbage. As is the, it seems there's no active duty military people involved. Come on, they're wearing yeah. fatigues. It is at your place. They have guns. How could you allow? They have guns. How could you allow this to happen? That's exactly. That's not. That's not okay. It's absolute garbage. garbage. I mean, and I guess the, if you're in the audience, maybe there's nothing you could do. But like, like you're okay with that? Yeah, say and, something. And the people, yeah, th when was this was in the last like week or something? This was posted in the last week of an event yeah. last year. Okay, okay, good. So last year. Yeah, so the people who were doing this last year, if they were holding this event in the 60s or, you know, earlier, what would they have been doing then? Like they'll they'll do what they think they can get away with. Because they want, they hate these people, and they want to, you know, figuratively kill them, and this is what they think they can get away with. But we know it's this—it's the same motivation. Man, garbage, utter garbage.
Yep. Um, okay. And now, can you go to graphic E9? Graphic E, oh, as in Edward. Not, well, normally, this block is the E block. It is normally, yes. Uh, we so have that's a what lot. happened. Okay, here we go. All right, everybody, you need to go vote for which movie you want to watch with John and his wife uh, ah. this Saturday for a movie night. TYT.com slash polls slash watch party to see if you want to watch The Circle which is Social Network Gone Wild with Hanks and Hermione, <laughs> Casino Royale, Secret Agent, Public Viewing, <laughs> Cable Guy, I'm on Steven's team, <laughs> or Knives Out, Murder Mystery with Ana de Armas and Captain de America. It's, yeah, it's quite good. Um, yeah, all of those are winners. I can't wait to see um, who's going to end up being chosen. I'm on the edge of my seat. TYT.com slash polls slash watch party. Um, and then movie night is the movie night watch party on the um oh, I realize you have to do that other poll. Uh is on <laughs> TYT or twitch.tv slash TYT this weekend. Uh exactly. John will keep you up to date on when. I will, and it'll be a lot of fun. And um so that's my Bye. garbage person, Brett's Bye. garbage person. Uh but what about you, the TDR community? Uh who do you think? was the biggest piece of garbage this week. Well, we put the poll on the community tab, as we always do, and here's how the vote came out. With 8.6 thousand votes, Donald Trump wins with 55% of the vote for everything he said in that Axios interview. Coming in at second at 18% is Mitch McConnell for fighting for corporations over people. Betsy DeVos gets 15% of the vote and a third for not protecting students and teachers. And the Aurora Police Department for terrorizing citizens in that viral video comes up with 12% of the vote. Thank you to everyone who took part. They're all garbage but trump he gets to be put at the top of the uh the top of the can uh this week check out the damage report podcast each day wherever you get your podcasts whether pocket casts or stitcher or itunes you can join me as i give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day Again, that's the damage report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show. 